Right, hello everybody um, and welcome to today's CIPD Membership Benefits webinar um, where we will be telling you about the resources, the services and support available to you as a CIPD member to help you with the challenges you, you may be facing at the moment in relation to the coronavirus pandemic. So on today's webinar we will be joined by Olia Howard who's the Membership Strategy Lead at the CIPD um, and he'll be joining us later for some Q&As at the end of this session. So if you do have any questions as we go through, um, if you can post them at the end, that would be absolutely fantastic. We've got quite a lot to get through um, in the session today. My name is Sarah Wood and I work in the membership team and me and my colleague Jess Haslam will uh, be showcasing to you some of the membership benefits which will support you during this time. So today's session will last around 30 to 45 minutes, um, depending on how many questions we have at the end, um, and we will we'll kick through. Okay, so um, I'm going to spend the next few slides taking you through the resources to support you in your day-to-day -day work. Um, I think first off it's worth mentioning that you can access all of the resources we're about to show you through the CIPD website and we always recommend that CIPD members log into the website first and where possible you remain logged in as this will enhance your experience on the site as you automatically gain access to all the member only content we're about to show you. So starting off, we've got the, uh, the coronavirus hub, which is signposted from the CIPD homepage, and it's where you'll find all the current information in connection with the coronavirus. So as the situation develops, which it has been, um, the CIPD will provide updated advice, resources, and guidance to support employers and people professionals in their response. So it's updated regularly by our team of experts, and it includes all the latest news, guides, uh, there are Q&As on there, fact sheets, podcasts, and, and, and loads of blogs. So some of the popular content, which I'm going to highlight to you now, um, includes the COVID-19 Returning to the Workplace Guide. Now, this guide will help you plan your organization's next steps following a period of furloughing or as the lockdown measures start easing as they have been. There's also an interactive COVID-19 workforce planner and this will help with complex workforce planning decisions you may need to make in light of a reduced workforce during the pandemic. And finally, uh, we are running a series of really popular webinars which are covering subjects such as furlough and well-being and management. And these webinars are free um, and the full calendar is available via a link onto the hub. So it's important to stay informed around the area of employment law, which can feel particularly confusing at this time. And as a member, you get access to kind of your own employment law team, which is available 24 seven via our employment law helplines. So whatever your question, you can get expert advice and guidance regarding COVID-19 in the workplace. This service is completely free to members. Um, however, it's worth noting that the helpline offers advice specifically for UK and Irish employment law. And in addition, if you are in the UK and have a question relating to your own personal employment situation, you can call the personal employment law also. Again, completely free to our members. Details of all of our helplines can be found on our website and we'll share with you at the end of this presentation the easiest ways to navigate all of your benefits. So CIPD communities, it's important that, that we do stay connected with each other, um, especially now with remote working, as you can sometimes feel isolated and cut off from your colleagues and your friends. So we're encouraging our members to stay connected and your community of like-minded members can offer you support during these difficult times. So you may have a work situation you'd like to get the opinions of others on, or perhaps you're studying and want to reach out to other students to share tips or study um, success. So the, the community as a benefit is often cited by our members as one of the most valuable. And the forum provides a range of discussion groups, including um, GDPR, employment law, and there's a really popular careers clinic on there also. It also has a group called Workplace Dilemmas and Confidence, which allows you as a member to post anonymously. It's a great space to share confidential dilemmas with your peers and get a second opinion on, on possibly some sensitive issues that you may be handling at work. On the community site, you'll also find blogs on current HR and L&D issues 
and there's a search function which means that you can search for a specific topic you're interested in and read the previous discussions around that topic. You can access it via the desktop or the app and the app also it's worth mentioning is where you'll find your digital membership card. You need to log into the app as a CIPD member using your CIPD member website login details and once you're logged in you'll have access to member only groups as well as your digital membership card. So CIPD members can also network using our social media groups and we have member groups on both LinkedIn and Facebook. All you need to do is search CIPD member group on Facebook or Twitter and request to join the group. And don't forget to make sure you're following us on Twitter to make sure that you're staying up to date with the latest CIPD news. Lastly, our branch events, uh, which are run by some of our fantastic volunteers, are adapting brilliantly to continue to, to bring you some fantastic virtual branch events. And details of these events which are happening are also linked to via our website. Okay, so moving on to the Student Hub. So if you're a member who is currently studying, um, you can tap into study guides, past papers, and loads of other resources via the Student Hub, which again, you can find um, signposted from the CFG website. So the Hub acts as a shop window, really, for all of the resources available to help CIPD students before, during, or after your studies. And on here, you can find FAQs and content regarding, um, which are CFG member only, sorry, um, and there's also employment law updates for CIPD tutors and students, which is really popular, and it's written by the CIPD chief examiner. There's also abundance of stu uh, study guides, sorry, which provide tips for studying, writing essays, and taking exams. Plus, you can download past papers as well as um, as well as examiner reports for the advanced level seven awarded CIPD qualification. So it's definitely worth a look if you're currently studying or thinking about studying. Now, you probably noticed there is a, a, an abundance of news and information available on coronavirus at the moment, um, and the frequency can be a little bit overwhelming. But it's very important that the information and guidance comes from a trusted source, which is why we've introduced a new weekly coronavirus update um, to ensure you're kept fully up to date. We also continue to bring you regular copies of People Management and Work Magazine. Um, but acknowledging that there may be disruption in some regions to post, um, just to let you know that you can access actually a digital version of the PM magazine via the CIPD website. Okay, so discounts and rewards. Um, membership provides access to a range of discounts on research, uh, resources and services to help you in your day-to-day -day work um, and also during your studies. So this includes things like 50% off H1 form, um, reduced books through Coke and Page, um, plus discounts off of CIPD training and our events. Um, and it's also worth mentioning that this year, CIPD members get free access to the virtual festival of work. Um, and they've just announced this year's speakers. So if you head over to the website, um, you'll be able to have a look and book your place. Now, I'm going to hand you over to Jess, who's going to take you through the membership benefits to support you throughout your career. Hey, can I just check, can everyone hear Jess? Hi, it's textbook Jess. I think you're still on mute. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess. Uh, I work alongside Sarah on the membership development team. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you today about how your CIP membership can help support you within your career. Um, the current pandemic has disrupted normal hiring practices for many organisations, as many of you will be aware. Uh, recruitment practices, practices have had to move online, less companies are recruiting, um, lots of companies having to make difficult decisions around redundancy, which is leading to a more competitive job market. So um, with all of this going on, you may still be wanting to think about your own learning and development, or perhaps before this all started, you were 
looking to start in your first role within the profession or wanting to change roles, or you may be wanting to progress within your career. So we'll look at how the resources that are available to you within your membership can help you to try and keep your career goals on track during this time. And so one of the first things uh, I wanted to mention was the designations that your membership gives you. And so with your membership, you get the designations after your name, which gives you professional recognition. Um, these help to raise your profile and your credibility and set you apart from the competition. Uh, probably more important than ever during this current climate, there's going to be um, so it's more important now to be able to stand out from the crowd during this current climate. But it's important to be aware that in order to use these designations after your name, you must be in membership. Um, so another important part of your membership that CIP provides is the CIP profession map. And this is the international benchmark for the profession. It identifies four impact levels, which details the knowledge and behaviours that are required to excel at these levels. And this can help to strengthen your knowledge within the profession. So in 2018, we ran a membership survey and part of the feedback we received from that was that many of our members wanted to um, wanted to more content to help them further their understanding of the profession map and help to apply it within their day-to-day -day roles. And so towards the beginning of this year, we've launched uh, the exclusive member-only learning content, which you may have seen um, some emails and some marketing going out about to try and, um, at the beginning of this year, to try and make all of our members aware of it. Um, and this is to help you under get a better understanding of the profession map and, and understand how you can apply it within your role. It's exclusive member-only learning content, and it's made up of eight um, eight days, well, eight courses, which are the equivalent of each course is the equivalent of one full day face-to-face -face training course. Um, each of the courses includes videos and activities and a community network to help you reflect on where you are against these behaviours and help you to embed them in your role. So the each course I um, identifies each of the eight core behaviours. So there's one one course for each of the behaviours. So you can pick if there's certain behaviours you kind of you want to learn about or whether you just work through them all eight of them. They're a great way to stay on top of your learning and development, especially at a time like now when perhaps um, any like any sort of training courses you may have had planned have been put on hold. So this is a great way to keep up with your learning and development. And this is just the first step. So we're working on a series of learning content which will be based around the map, um, which will be housed on a dedicated learning platform. So keep your eye out for, for more con content coming your way. Uh, and another resource that we have available to you is the CIP Career Hub. This is a member-only support resource which can help you to identify and conquer your key development areas. Within the Career Hub, you'll find career tools uh, such as a CV builder, a personal development planner, and an interview simulator. Um, and there's also self-assessments which are on topics such as resilience, motivation, and personality. So um, it's great to just have a look in there and see if there's anything, if you've perhaps got a job interview coming up or you're looking for a new role, then have a look in there and see if there's any tools that can help you to, to beef up your CV or build your confidence within interviews. There's also a whole host of e-learning resources within the Career Hub, which cover a whole range of topics, um, including coping with change and aiming for a promotion. Um, and they're also updating this regularly, so you'll find more resources that are perhaps more relevant to the current situation. So they've um, recently added some resources on navigating virtual job fairs, uh, how to uh, do remote working successfully, and also video interview hints and tips. So um, it's worth logging on probably like once a month just to see what new resources are on there. Uh, there's always new stuff being added, so just keep an eye out for, for what's around. Um, we've also pulled together some microsites to try and help pull out key content which will be tailored to the specific needs of our members. So um, we've got microsites on back to, uh, returning back to work, students and consultants. And these pull out the key resources that we think may be relevant to our members who are in those areas of their career at the moment. So, for example, the student microsite, you'll find information to help you with job searches and interviews. And the consultant one, you'll find all sorts of information on self-employment and coaching skills to help try and build your skill set. 
Um, we also last year developed our career support pages on the website. So these now cover all the different career options within the profession outlined by the profession map. So all the different um, specialisms within the profession map are now have each now got their own page which outline what to expect if you're working within that specialism, specialism field within the profession. Um, you'll also find case studies from our members on these pages where they outline what their um, what a day for them is like working in that specialism. So these are a really great place to start if you're if you're new to the profession and you're not sure which direction you want your career to take. But also um, if you're currently working in the profession but you're looking for that next step and which direction to go in, these are a great place to start to sort of look at and get a better understanding of the different specialisms within the profession and, and where what direction you want to take your career in. And as well as the career support pages, we've got a couple of pages to help with our members who are um, going, trying to return back to work after a career break and managing a career break. And these pages have um, lots of top tips and guidance to help you maintain your employability during this time. Uh, within um, these pages, you'll also find a link to our careers clinic, which is a specific forum hosted within the community, the CIP community forum, which Sarah mentioned earlier. And this is specifically for members to discuss their own career um, experiences and ask for advice from other members about their career. So you can tap into the experience of other members and ask any questions you've got. Um, the, the community group are really, um, really supportive. So just any sort of queries you've got, if you're struggling to make it into the profession or you're, you're struggling with your next career choice, then do have a look on the community for, forum and speak to some members and, and get some advice from, from your peers. And so we've also got uh, the independent hub, which is for our members who are working in independent roles, or perhaps you're, uh, you're a current member that's looking to take the plunge into a consultant role. So this is a great place to start. It's got um, links to external resources that might help support you in making that, in making that change. And also, you'll find case studies and advice from members who are in independent roles. Um, you'll, you'll also find a link to the professional indemnity insurance that we offer. So we partnered with WILD to offer you um, the cheapest and most comprehensive cover for professional indemnity insurance. And this can only be accessed through your CIP membership. Um, the cover includes public product and cyber liability. So if your um, professional indemnity insurance is coming up for renewal, then it's definitely worth having a look or, or remembering to come back and check out and get a quote because you may find you can actually save quite a lot of money by accessing your professional indemnity insurance through your CIP membership. Hi, Jess. Sorry to disturb you. It's just tech support here, Mark. Um, people are having a little bit of trouble hearing you. I don't know if you can just turn your mic up a bit. Or just bring it closer to your mouth. But thank you. Is that better? Any better? Um, so the last part of this webinar, we're just going to look at uh, supporting you during your, in your well-being. So um, it's quite a difficult time for everyone at the moment in managing their own their own work pressures, but also their own personal pressures as well. There's a lot more to be con to be juggling at the moment, and it's important to not only look after your perhaps your teams and your organisation, people within your organisation's well-being. But to remember to look after your own well-being as well. Um, so, in recognition of the increased pressure and personal challenges that many of you may be facing at the moment, we've launched a, a new wellbeing helpline last month, which we've partnered with Health Assured to provide you. It's um, for UK and Ireland members, and calls are free and confidential and are available 24/7. So, no matter what time you need. Um, no matter what the time or when you need support from someone, there's always someone available to speak to. 
You can work through your problems with a qualified therapist who will be accredited by the British Association for Counselling and Psychotherapy, and they can help you with legal information services, providing support on a range of issues such as personal, financial and legal matters. If you've got concerns about debt, investment, pensions, um, managing money, or you need help negotiating with creditors, then you can give the um, helpline a call and they sh they'll be able to support you and help you. Um, you can also access manager consultancy and support. So this will help you to support your team um, and and share share your um, help, like support your team as much as you can during this difficult time. Um, and as well as the helpline, if you don't perhaps you don't need to speak to anyone at the moment, there's nothing sort of urgent on your mind. But there's also a variety of online resources, and there's the Health eHub app, which um, you can download and access a variety of uh, resources such as webinars, uh, mini, mini health checks and a four week program. So even if you don't need to um, use the phone line at the moment, it's definitely worth giving, um, it's definitely worth downloading the app and then you've all, and having a look at the resources available to you and then should or whenever you find you need the support, it's there for you as soon as you need it. Uh, so all the information on your membership benefits can be found on the CIPD website. Um, the link for the member benefits landing page is on the screen at the moment. And here you'll find um, everything that we've gone through today and in further detail and links on how to access it all. Um, it's definitely worth bookmarking this page if you can. Um, uh, so that you've got, the, you've got the, your membership benefits there at the click of a button whenever you need them. So um, if you just take this address, this address on the screen down and bookmark it, and then you can easily access everything you need. Uh, so we're going to end it there. Um, I just saying, we just wanted to end by saying thank you to all of you, our members. It's only through the support of our membership that we can do the things we do. And we're even more grateful during these unprecedented times of the support that you uh, are given us. Um, if you are a current CIPD member and you think your ability to renew may be affected this year due to the current pandemic, then please do call our customer services team as they will be able to um, help you and provide you some options of how we can help you to continue your membership during this time. Um, we'll now open to, up to answer any questions you may have. So if you've got any questions, in, please pop them in the chat box and me, Sarah and Ollie will be around to answer any questions. Thank you, Jess. Um, so I just had a, a scroll through. I, I think there's been a couple of questions already. Um, I think, Amy, you've asked about the law on tour this year, whether that will be running. So unfortunately, the, the spring one is being rescheduled and the dates are yet to be announced for when that will be. Um, <clears throat> but if you have booked on to that spring one, um, you will get notified as soon as the, the new dates have been uh, released. Um, and if you're interested on, in attending one of the future law on tours, you can actually um, put your name down in advance. They do, they do get very busy, uh, very popular, um, and obviously depending on how it will be delivered um, in the coming months, there might be opportunities for, for more people to attend this year. Um, but also just to let you all know, within the community site, um, Kaz, who runs the law on tour, uh, she actually has um, a law on tour blog. So it might be worth, um, you know, when you go and you kind of investigate around the community area, if you have a look on there and, and Kaz will be updating people as and when. And also she does some really interesting articles on on kind of uh, perspective of, of law at the moment. So, so that's a, a good one to highlight. Um, okay, another question from Emma about the login details for the app. So um, if you um, log on to the, when you go and visit the CIT website in the top right hand corner, there is a login. Um, it's always important if you're a current member to, to log in there because when you then navigate through the website, you'll see content that non-members won't have access to and um, examples of which are, for example, the login details for the app, the phone number for, for the helplines and various other pieces of content. So um, I'm unable to give you the login details here, but um, if you go onto the CRT website, find the member benefits page. There's a wellbeing link on there. Click on there and then log in as a member and you'll get all of those details on there on how to log in. 
Okay, so question about upgrading uh, to a chartered member. So um, that's from Melanie. So um, there are there are a couple of routes. So obviously, if you wanted to go through, um, it, there's the experience assessment route, um, which you can again find details on our website on how you kind of can access that. That's a route that looks at the current, um, the experience that you've gained throughout your career, um, and then through um, a series of um, work-based um, activities, you're then um, assessed against your experience, and you can achieve chartered in that way. It takes roughly about two or three months. Um, I'm probably not selling it very well. It's not an area of membership that I work in, but. If you're interested in in kind of upgrading, then there's a whole section on our website that's got all the details on there, who you need to contact. Uh, people that have done it have have really kind of valued the the coaching that you get from it and the the, the kind of stuff that you learn as you're going through that process. Um, okay. There's a there's also a, a tool on that upgrading page for the website now, which um, guides you through based on your qualification level and experience, which upgrading route might be best for you. Um, if you have a level seven already, then obviously you've got the option to upgrade through the normal upgrade process rather than EA, which I think is what Emma was just asking about. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's a question there about can you achieve chartered status on completion of level seven automatically? So. When you complete your level seven, you won't automatically get upgraded to chartered member. Um, but what you can do is once you've, as long as you've completed the level seven diploma, then you can then go through the upgrading process. So rather than experience assessment, it'll be the upgrading process, which um, is a, a 45 minute phone call with an assessor to answer some questions to see if you meet the chartered member criteria. And this, again, as um, Sarah and Ollie said, that's all on the web on the website. Okay, question there from um, Kilsey. Um, so that that's quite a specific one. I think what might be best actually, if you email me directly and I can pick that up for you. Um, my email address is s.wood at cipd.co.uk and I'll pick that up for you. few more moments if there's any more questions that people might have. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on here. I'll put my email address on here. There you go. Fantastic. So I think if there's no more questions, um, we'll, we'll let you get on with your day. Um, if um, if anyone does have any, uh, can think of any questions after this or would like um, any information, whether you are currently um, coming up for renewal or you're thinking about coming into membership, then you can contact either myself directly, you've got my email address there, or Jess, um, and our details can be found on the website.